Eminem's mom, the drug usage was part of it. And he would do, sorry, mama, I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to make you cry, but tonight I'm cleaning out my closet. And then Tupac's mom also had some drug usage and shit involved in her experience. And he said, even though you was a crack fiend, mom, you always was a black queen, mom. Mm -hmm. And I think the tones of anger and the difference in the two of them and the artists are the M's anger is coming from things were supposed to be right. And Tupac's statement is almost like a it's terms of endearment in it because it's like, well, we, we always was still all I had. You see what I'm saying? So it, it, it I think the expectations of things go right from a white American perspective versus things accepting the idea of things not going right from African-American perspective or what makes the difference in the tones in those records. You see what I'm saying? And it's both the same scenario, but different ways of expressing experience because of the difference in the two artists. This is Bryce Davis on the check-in. I actually really like this comparison that 50 Cent made between Eminem and Tupac, them both having similar experiences with their mother being on drugs and how Eminem, you know, he was upset. I don't want to say entitled, but, you know, he felt a little more entitlement towards his mother, you know, being a decent mom. Obviously she wasn't, or else he wouldn't have made the records, whatever the case may be. And you got Tupac who, you know, dealt with the same thing, except, you know, being raised in the ghetto. He looked at it like, yo, you know, just the best mama could do, you know, it came more of a humble approach about it, you know. Not saying that Eminem didn't grow up in the slums because we all know about Detroit. We all know about eight miles, the trailers and all that. So, you know, end of the day, it's just perspectives. You know, that's the way I look at life, man. Like, I have an understanding that the people I meet, the way they view things is always going to be different because, you know, like he said, you know, some people going to feel a little more humbled by things. Some people going to be a little more entitled. You know, some people gonna be angry that things ain't the way they're, you know, end of the day, who's to say who's right and who's wrong? I agree with both of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't necessarily feel like neither one of them's wrong in their approach of, you know, talking about their mom's struggles or whatever the case may be. Now, growing up, you know, black people always said, you know, we can't rock with Eminem because the way he talks about his mom and blah, 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 you know, shit. End of the day, we don't know what that man went through with his mom. Like, if his mom was truly a piece of shit, like, didn't feed him, didn't clothe him, you know, did everything wrong, then, you know, he has a right to talk about it. You know, obviously, he flipped it around and, you know, got to talking with her again and patched things up. And, you know, they cool now. So, obviously, you know, you can't, can't tell somebody they had a wrong, their experience in life was wrong. You know what I'm saying? So that's always been my point of view when it comes to Eminem. So let me know if you agree with me, disagree with me. You know, if you share the same views, whatever the case may be in the comments. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.